Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, September 28th, 2022 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Earlier this week, I was playing with self-hosting a domain that supports DNSSEC. Uh, usually, I leave this up to Google or uh, whatever registrar, but in this case, I want the flexibility to do it myself. So while setting up the domain, enabling the new DNS features and bind and adding the respective DS records to the registrar, well, I unsurprisingly ran into some problems. I wrote a little bit about uh, what the problems were and some of the DNS intricacies in the diary, but here I just want to sort of highlight the key point, and that's a nice find about a new DNS feature that is at least supported by Cloudflare's DNS servers. Maybe others, uh, not sure who exactly is using it, but I noticed it uh, with uh, Cloudflare. Now, if something goes wrong with DNS, you usually get a server fail error. But uh, there are many different reasons why you may get that error. So in itself, getting the error just tells you something is wrong. It doesn't tell you what is wrong or why that uh, name server wasn't able to resolve that particular record. Well, uh, RFC 8914, it's about uh, two years old now, introduces a new DNS option to help with that, option 15. This option is added to response when you're getting the server fail error and includes a code that tells you a little bit more about what the exact failure is. And then also a little bit of ASCII text that will explain you why you're seeing that particular error. In my case, well, it was pretty clear. I got the code 10, which means there were no signature records in uh, my zone. Now, the text actually still helped very much. I didn't find the text really that helpful in itself, but uh, seeing the text there, and the text is being displayed by Dick, uh, the uh, DNS uh, utility that's often used to debug these things, seeing the text basically told me, hey, you know, there is this new option, and uh, that's sort of uh, what it is about. If I would have just seen option 15 code 10, I probably would have missed really uh, what this was all about. So again, Cloudflare with their 1111 uh, resolver is using it, others may if you know of any others, uh, let me uh, know if uh, others are supporting this as well. And uh, well, I'm not sure if it will help DNSSEC to become more popular, but uh, certainly can't hurt. I want to talk about something else that's difficult and uh, sometimes difficult to debug, Yara rules. I've mentioned them before. Yara is the open source language that's used to often uh, catch malware. It's often described sort of as an open source uh, anti-malware matching uh, language. And uh, creating these Yara rules, well, um, if, you, if they're getting a little bit more complicated, can get somewhat challenging, in particular if you're new to it or, well, if uh, the rule that you're writing is quite uh, complex. Now, uh, over time, Yara developed some features to help with uh, debugging Yara rules, like a console mode, for example, uh, that should help you understand uh, some of these Yara rules better, but it hasn't really been sort of a real sort of good debugger for it. So, Avast came out with Yari, short for Yara Interactive. Yari helps you evaluate Yara expression. It's not sort of a classic debugger in that it sort of steps through it, really just sort of uh, resolves the different features uh, in the particular expression, but uh, should help you identify what a particular expression is actually trying uh, to do. The tool is open source, so thanks Avast for releasing it. It's available in uh, GitHub and, well, Hope you'll find it helpful. And then we have a new almanac from the HTTP archive. The HTTP archive continuously scans web servers around the internet. And then once a year, they're creating uh, this almanac where they basically uh, summarize what sort of security relation related features are popular, how popular they are among the web servers that they're scanning. And I think it's a little bit of the, you know, keeping up with the Joneses idea by telling people, hey, you know, uh, all of your neighbors are using HTTPS. Uh, maybe uh, you will uh, be using it 
too. And the same applies then to other security features. It also, uh, of course, tells you if a security feature is particularly popular that, hey, you know, uh, maybe it's ready for production and it's actually popular enough and supported well enough. So first of all, HTTPS, of course, pretty much everybody is supporting HTTPS these days. It's about 90% of sites. Uh, I actually sometimes find it uh, difficult to find a site that's non-HTTPS and the configuration is also a reasonable sort of with uh, 97% of the sites that support HTTPS also supporting forward uh, secrecy. Let's Encrypt and Cloudflare are your top certificate authorities with Let's Encrypt sort of having about uh, 50 plus percent if I remember correct uh, market share so they're really by far uh, the biggest. Strict transport security, that's still a feature that's lagging a little bit here with, uh, in my opinion, only 25% of sites uh, enabling uh, this uh, feature. Of course, a lot of browsers now are sort of using that HTTPS only idea where they're first connecting the HTTPS. That certainly makes sense given that 75% of sites uh, don't sort of enforce that. One of the features that has certainly become a little bit more mainstream is con security policy. Well, it went up from 13% of sites to 15% of sites. Haven't really dove into the details how meaningful the policies are that are out there, or if it has become a little bit of a check mark item where you just uh, put up sort of a minimum uh, policy. Personally, I really find it hard to come up with a great uh, CSP policy for a larger existing site, uh, but still any policy is usually better uh, than having uh, no policy at all. It may block some attacks, even of course, if they may be bypassable. Well, and this is it for uh, today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.